Hey, okay, what's up? <laughs> hey, sorry about the little intro, people. But anyways, um, hey, what's what's going on with it once again? Of course, Bros Woman, especially Bros and Pegasus, the one, the only. Of course, Mister Nintendo Sony for 2011, AK Criticism Guide 2009. Of course, Nintendo Anime Manga Guide 360. Back with another, and unfortunately, last MLP FIM, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, Season Four, Episode 25 and 26. Which I'm gonna do separately. Hopefully, I'll have to do a four or five part video if I get any distractions or interruptions. Lord willing, I don't. But this time, I'll be watching it from here instead of my um <laughs> my laptop. So uh, other than that, um, too many small updates I want to give you guys right before I start this shit because it is extremely important. Let me find my ticket thing, whatever I got yesterday. First off, I'll be doing a Spider-Man Two, Amazing Spider-Man Two movie review on my Criticism Guide 2009 channel. If you want to check that shit out. Just finished watching it yesterday. I didn't have enough time to do it today because I was extremely busy as hell doing a lot of errands and shit. But yeah, there's that. And um, as most of you know, about a week or two ago, May 7th is when the whole booster boxes of the X and Y Flash Fire came out. And they came out like a week earlier. I think it was on May 2nd and 3rd. So it was around the same time Spider Man came out here in the US because I think it was like a week or two earlier. Everyone else in the world got it, like Europe and Spain, Africa, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, Asia. I don't know. They got it a week or two earlier than us. So. I'll be using these seals or whatever if I get a hollow or EX, EX full art. So you can see Scraggy right here and um, Spirit Tomb over here. Hopefully you can see that pretty damn good. So yeah, there's those two updates I want to get out of the way. I'm going to be doing reaction review, obviously, for I'm Dawn of the Planet of the Apes for trailer reaction review on my Criticism Guys channel. I'll still be doing main reviews here. I haven't had that much time with them. I'm going to try to bring that back. I haven't done it in about three, four months after my computer got broke. But I'm still using my laptop, so still everything is good in the world. So, without further ado, let's begin the last two episodes. I actually saw the first one yesterday. I didn't get a chance to see the second part of um, The Magic Kingdom. So, My Little Pony, for one last time. Friendship is Magic, Season 4, Episode 25 and 26, The Magic Kingdom, Part 1. Let's do it. I got my lobes on, too. I barely wear these. I only wear these, like, on the weekends or a month. Let me scoot up a little bit. <laughs> so that way I get a better feel for it. Seems like only yesterday I was saving this place from being totally destroyed. <laughs> hey, you Spike guys again. remember that? Hopefully you guys can hear that too. You only mentioned it about 15 times on the dream uh, here. Yes, and we never hear a peep out of you about your exploits. <laughs> Point taken. I'm glad you all wanted to come, <laughs> but I don't think it's going to be that exciting. Yeah. I pretty much just have to smile and wave as the dignitaries arrive. Yes, but you get to smile and wave like waving. a princess. And then they break in a song How exactly is that. that different than smiling and waving like not a princess? <laughs> it isn't. Oh, I like this part with Pinkie Pie. I remember that. What's wrong, it's hilarious. Twilight? She stretches her face. There we go. <laughs> she likes straight out of Looney Tunes Daffy and Bugs Bunny shit. It doesn't Pinkie seem Pie that my new role as a princess equates to all that much. Fix. That's just silly. You got a real important role in Equestria. Princess Celestia wouldn't have asked you to come today if she didn't think so. I love her and everything, but she's starting to feel right. cool enough. Of course we are. Now hurry along. You don't want to risk having that important role diminished because you're tired before tough. your regal meet and greet. The Duke and Duchess. Oh, their Flash Century. They actually gave him a little bit of a voice thing over there. Duke and Duchess. Oh, those are the one in the Spike Equestria game. Luna Cadence and um, Celestia, and Celestia Cadence and um, Celestia, yeah. Luna Cadence and Celestia. And they brought out this big giant flag and everything. That's pretty sick. Uh, they bow down to each other. That's awesome. And she's that smiling and was waving. It? She's like, Princess Dang. Celestia had you come all the way to the Crystal Empire just to do that? Oh. I mean, whoa. Put really Twilight really down. Right now. Why do you gotta be an asshole like that, Spike? <laughs> <laughs> I like how they smack the outside that like that. Alright. Uh, and there goes the theme song and all that shit. Yada yada yada, I don't care about that. It's because I don't want to get no strikes or anything. But yeah, that's pretty fucking decent. I like how they made her smile away, but it's still cute, you know? It's Innocent Twilight. Oh, it's a new king and queen again, but it's not a Celestia. Your anymore. Highness. Thank you for understanding. It looks like that's the number of those privy to these confidential discussions to a minimum. Of course. I was just bitch as fuck for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Aww. 
Just smiling and waving, just like the cute little Prince Diane or some shit from the 90s and 80s. Is there anything else uh, I can do to assist with their visit? I'm sorry, Twilight, but their visit is already over. Oh. oh, and if I get some ice cream, I just eat some chili, so I might have to cut it. I guess I just don't, don't really understand why I'm sorry. here. Sorry. Couldn't one of the royal guard have unfurled the banner? Having all four of us in the Empire to greet them lets the dignitaries know that their visit is considered important. Oh, the dignitaries in the Equestria world, not just like politics and shit. Plus, it gives me an opportunity to see my favorite sister-in-law. And I'm happy to see you. All of you. But, but I... Well, it's just that Princess Luna raises the moon. Princess Celestia raises the sun. Yep. You protect the no, Crystal I'm Empire. Not. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and all I seem to do is smile and wave. Oh. Oh, this is when they break out this one. I hope I don't need no fucking strength for that shit. I'm gonna be pissed right there. I did it for a Philly Vanilli to find the music thing, so I should be good. Some people didn't like the song. I thought it was pretty decent. Really good for its time. I'm not sure if this is still Tara Strong singing or not, but she does a good ass job for the star. Oh, it's so emotional and shit. I know a lot of little girls probably cried to hell when they saw this thing. I mean, even older brony guys like me. It was actually one part I even fucking cried. You'll see it in the second one. Because I'm going to split this up into part one and two of the episodes. Hopefully. I don't get fucking distractions or anything. Fucking pants in a relationship, Twilight, you know that. <laughs> you know the program, bro. Oh, I know I had mentioned this before, but every time she talks, like, everything's with a question. I don't know what to do, ponies, or something like that. It doesn't make any sense. It's illogical. You know, it's weird. That's why I never really liked Twilight that much, but she's still decent. Way better than AJ and RD, I'm just saying. Sorry, Rainbow Dash, Apple Drop fans. She's a little bit more better. She's like in between. Certain, and that's hard to take. Celestia. I love how the tab is your man. That had to be her. That song called Luna's Voice. Because she does both of them. Uh, I love that code that she does. I understand that you're wanting more. I'm so glad they gave her so many lines in this one. Because I love Luna way more than fucking Celestia. Team fucking Luna. When Luna fucking fucking. Oh, uh, last time she saw him was on the This Day Aria thing. It was when I first introduced on Cadence. The Queen Patricia list, which I hope is season 5 will see her again. It's like a church with kind of Pentecostal choir, which is weird. It's fun. That's like Christmas. I don't know what it is. I feel like a Christmas, New Year's vibe going on. Oh, I like the cute little smile in it, that was nice. Oh, God, top of those really beautiful vocal cords, which you fucking say for me, it's amazing. It's beautiful. She did a really amazing job. I guess the other one did too, with Cole Oliver, whoever plays Candy's voice. Oh, they're showing a the cutie marks. Crystal Heart, and Sun and Moon, and Twilight's name. Aw, oh, she's so depressed, but I said she's happy. Then they go into hug and kiss at each other. Oh, well, not kiss. That would be like lesbian stuff. That wouldn't be a kid show thing either. Your time will come. Yeah, she says that now. That's what they all say, Celestia. They're just trying to be Miss Princess Exhibition is. Poor shout out to that chick, um, Amy Meredith, aka um, Matt Munchkin. She loves the shit out of that saying Princess Exhibition is. Oh, this is the part where they show the villain. I remember this. I saw that yesterday. Right after I saw the Spider-Man movie and shit. Oh, he's got like an 8-bit old school, like, uh, I was going to say Minecraft, because I know Kira Draw is talking Very about sorry. that. Shout out to that chick, because I'm going to put both their channels down below. Kira Draw, you are boss. I doubt you're going to watch this, but really cute. Not sexy, just cute. <laughs> I can assure you, I am... Oh, yeah, I remember this is supposed to be like a generation I one, like My Little Pony enemy. It was his name, Tarek. Yep, Tarek. And I will take what should have been my hero long ago. Oh, he's absorbing his like magical energy, huh? Fucking huge, man. He's like he's sucking the life of Jesus out of that fucking thing. Oh, God. Oh, he made him go blind. Oh, I feel so bad for him right now. 
innocent fucking ponies and you're like, oh, look, it's like a baboon demon thing or whatever. Bullshit. She had a vision. Sister, are you alright? I remember that. I've just had the most terrible dream. Why do you think I'm here? You know as well as I that this was not a dream, a dream. but a vision. I'm <laughs> glad they time. made her more sufficient this season. Becomes. I'm glad they put a lot more back on her a long time ago than they did in the third season. And then they go out and landscape the thing, and I gotta fast forward, obviously. Because I don't want to know copyrights on any of those fucking commercials. But that's pretty fucking interesting. So Tarek is able to absorb the power of life force <laughs> energy off of Pegasus, Earth Pony, and Unicorns. Fucking insane. Oh, and I remember this part of the backstory thing. That's fucking Tarek cool. and his brother Scorpan came here from a distant land. It's still called Scorpazion instead of Scorpan. Intent on stealing equestrian magic. But Scorpan soon came to appreciate the ways of equestrian. Oh, he left. Even befriending a young unicorn wizard. Starfruit. Scorpan uh, urged his brother to abandon their plans. When Tirek refused, Scorpan alerted us to Tirek's intentions. Uh -oh. Scorpan returned to his own land, and Tirek was sent to Tartarus for his crimes. Like Tartarus is supposed to be when like a hell, like purgatory a thing. Oh, I guess. We believe so. it happened when Cerberus left his post at the gates, but that was a long time ago. Why is he just now starting to steal magic? See, His time in Tartarus left him very weak. Time, so he has like just that. now gained enough strength to time. use his dark powers. But with each passing moment, he grows stronger still. And I know just the princess who could stop him. Yes, I'll find no him. Twilight. But I'm so afraid I must put her call in another to stop Tyrek. Discord. Oh, oh shit. Fucking is master of chaos. Discord? Discord? Yes. I don't think it's that big of a surprise. Can be that. She's very the best helpful. friend of Discord, that's it. <laughs> he can sense when there's a magical imbalance. Like, yeah, the next right, time T-Rex steals magic, Discord will be able to track him down. So, what are you supposed to do in the meantime? Uh, nothing. Unless, of course, one of you needs me to smile and wave. <laughs> I guess it's a smile. Well, where are you going? Yeah. To the castle of the two sisters. I'm not really needed anywhere else. Might as well catch up on some of my reading. Dang. She has very company? much of a dumping slump right it now. It has been a while since we visited the castle. Might be fun. Oh, of course, yeah, Applejack has to be honest. Right Relevant. Oh, it's Tree of Harmony right there. Oh man, I missed that fucking shit so much. It had to be done. Tree of Harmony wouldn't have survived. But Twilight was right. Even without the elements, our friendship is as strong as ever. I just hope another friend of ours never makes us sorry we had to give them up. Oh, you're talking about uh, this Discord. Mary Poppins reference right there. I called that shit earlier. My ears were burning. <laughs> it always takes these metaphors what and idioms really freaking literally all the time. I'm just a bit of like a John Delancey. I had all the mics. When I wasn't a fan of Star Trek, I suppose you all know that I didn't have to capture a certain escape. I wasn't crazy about it. Big deal. I didn't say it was shit or anything. I just wasn't a nice taste. I'm sorry. Spike. Got to a bubble. Seems so I possess a magic that gives me quite an important role in Equestria. Maybe they should make me an Alcorn princess. <laughs> God, it's like if he's in a beauty drag queen pageant or something. <laughs> the hell's up with that? She's like the Muffin King from Dexter's Lab. Funny people oh, remember that. Oh, I never dreamed of such things. Nineties kids. Ask like Princess Luna. Don't you one. have a creepy magic stealing villain to track down? Yes, yes, yes. Of course. <laughs> it's just. But I couldn't help but notice that Twilight hasn't yet opened this little chest of hers. Oh boy. It really got me thinking. What if what's locked inside is something that would help her prove her royal worth? I only bring it up Finally because she said that she's been feeling like her role as a princess doesn't equate to much. <laughs> you made her lives do the duck face thingy. Oh my god, oh, that's like the highest is pitch ever a pinky way you're top right there. You know you this is freaking annoying, bro. She's still cute as fuck, no one left. She's my beautiful friend. number one poem. And size Derp was for uh -huh. Well, in any case, I suppose they all look now is as good a time as any for me to make my exit. Ah, didn't he have a little moped he ran off on? Oopsie, doop. See, I almost <laughs> left with it's the oopsie It's like some okey loki. I sound like that roly poly only if any people know that Disney cartoon from back in the day. That one was a fun show. I'll admit that. Interesting passages. You really should take a look. We're still on for tea later, aren't we, Fluttershy? I wouldn't miss it. 
Oh, uh, they're having tea and going on dates together. I don't know, that's not really what it's about, but it sounds like they were Sometimes dating. Sometimes I think the they're probably shipping all that shit going on. more obnoxious than the before he was reformed Discord. Indeed, but he could be right, couldn't he? Oh, right. the rare there is something important in that chest. There's only one way to find out. Sorry from squinting a lot, it's just kinda had a headache from early. I don't know what it was. Anything? Oh, not happy late mother to anyone that's mothers out there, or sons there or daughters. Be something I don't in this know. library that can help me figure out just how to do it. The answer's in one of these books. I just know it. Well, oh, there goes the special unicorn book. So they're gonna go through all the episodes. I remember that because they had a flashback of all the other original episodes. So I already did half of them as a reaction. The other one half I did as a regular average review. So I'm gonna go back to them doing all regular reviews from like 13 to now, 26. So I'll do all those. Oh, he's getting stronger too. Tarek or Teddy, I don't know how to say it. Whoa! I, presume. I had no idea he could freaking turn into a pony. Holy shit, Discord. Discord. You're free? Oh, he As knows Discord. I commend your honor. Oh, I remember this part so sad. I'm afraid the feeling isn't mutual. <laughs> the snap of his fingers, he can just do anything. <laughs> Split well, his head in two like a hydro. Want to have a quest real to yourself? Uh, it's I'm police officers like I'm some doing 80s my police friends. academy reference. Just between the two of us. I'm not wasn't born in the 80s until I shine like I keep saying. You're not a shine. You're not saying you're friends with ponies. That be his birthday <laughs> surprise. <laughs> birthday cake and candles I and everything. I'm surprised. This poor always has to be up in his head when his eyes are closed. This friendship. Is but a new form of imprisonment. So I was getting a little Clearly, you've had to abandon your true room. nature to stay in their good graces. The fucking hell? You had a hump and angel thing? Just like, want to be angel it like this? Hot to me? Please, I've seen you. this before, but he was always weak minded. You are Discord, you are legend. legend. You oh cannot God. fall into the same trap that claimed my brother. Help me to grow strong and be rewarded with something far greater than friendship. It looks like some bad boot there. I know he's supposed Freedom. to be like a Stalfios or something. I forgot what they're Once called. I've these it's half man, half horse. I forgot what those things were. Nothing would be greater pleasure than to see their like world a turned one, upside man. down. For a generation of one like character, he looks a lot more crazy than he did in the old school one from the 80s. And reclaim your greatness. Unless, of course, Pony. Sounds like the dude that does Scar's voice in the 90s a little bit. I'm not sure if it was him or Gantu from Lee Lone Stitch. I don't know if you know. Oh shit, he's gonna go betrayal on him. Oh fuck. Don't fucking do it, please, Discord. You gotta be shitting me right now. He betrays and backstabs him, I'm gonna be so fucking pissed off. He, he, like, he was even in his reform form the whole time. He didn't learn anything, period. That means he was even friends with Fluttershy, which was sad. If that happens. I think it does, too. That fucking sucks. That, she did that cute little something. smile face. I've been reading our journal, and there's something interesting about the sections that Discord bookmarked. Applejack, do you remember when you had to tell every pony that the tonic granny bought from the Flim Flam Brothers didn't uh, really work? the tonic work? episode. How could I forget? I remember it that. It was one of the hardest things I ever had to do. Oh, yeah, I remember when I was talking about that before. They showed Jerky and Lyra in the background, too. I remember that. She was one of the best. I hate to disappoint every pony, but there's no way Granny could have made that dive because this tonic is a fake. <laughs> but in that moment, <laughs> oh, that I knew I had to be did. honest. I just knew it. But that what's that got to do with opening the chest? Awful. I found that each of you has had to face a situation where living up to the element of harmony you represent wasn't easy. Fluttershy, it was when you realized that the way to show kindness to the Breezies was by forcing uh, them the to leave your home. Episode, they didn't oh, used to be a breeze. I remember that. Faces. I want the Goku Vegeta's voice. I think it was like Chris Rizal that did one of the voices. But I knew that as uh, difficult yeah, as it was, that. pushing I them away was the kindest thing I could do. I remember that. 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 Even after Suri took then advantage of your generosity at Fashion Week in Manhattan, you didn't let it cause you to abandon your generosity. I haven't done a reaction when I'm not, but I will. I simply couldn't have lived with myself if I didn't do something special for the friends who've always been so generous to me. Rainbow Dash, you had the chance to fly with the Wonderbolts at the Equestria Games. Oh, the Wonderbolts. But instead, you chose to compete with your friends. Sure. 
That's what I went crazy because they showed Derpy again for the first time after two seasons. Pinkie Pie, you realized that seeing your friend laugh was more uh, important than seeing you were a better party planner than Cheese that. Sandwich. Weird Eye Yanka, which I could never forget that fuck to use. There we both had our moments to shine, Twilight. I'll say it before I said it again. Epicness for fucking Weird Eye. What does any of this have to do with the opening of the chest? All of you had tough choices to make, but when you made the right one and embraced your element, it helped some pony else make the right choice too. Each of you received something from the pony who oh, left those and helped change. Right I know it sounds the, uh, crazy, but maybe like there's the, something uh, special about those objects the that could lead us to the location of the keys. The chest is connected to the tree of harmony. The tree is connected to the elements, something. and the elements are connected to all of us. There must be a connection. Well, I hate to admit, it, but maybe Discord was trying to be a good friend after all. I don't see anything on them that would give us a clue as to where the keys might be. They're just ordinary, everyday objects. Come on, Bolus! Give us that key! <laughs> give us the key. I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> hey. Oh, it worked. Turn it into a key for Pinkie Pie. Look at that sick ass fucking animation. Though. I know you guys can see, but I'll put the link to the episode down below if you want to watch it. Or just watch it with me. I don't know. Uh, Fluttershy, Rainbow Dash, Rarity. Oh, no, not the Rainbow Dash. I think I'm um, Applejack there. Oh, they're doing the same 3D animation like they did with that Fluttershy putting her hook down when they showed her like that angle when they did like that. It's like, oh no, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, but, but it's I'm cool. sure that if we got yeah, not, you have two, Twilight. Think, Twilight. One of you completed a difficult magical task, and in doing so, encouraged another pony to do the same. I haven't. If I had, I would have written about it in the journal. Don't worry, Twilight. Oh, I'm sure you'll get thing. your key eventually. <coughs> <coughs> oh, this is the first time in a long time we got a message from Celestia. Like in the first three What's seasons. What's it say? Two seasons. That I needed a candle at once. Oh, fucking hell. I came as quickly as I could. Is something wrong? Is it T-Rex? Something I'm afraid I put too happen. much trust in Discord and the effect that friendship would have upon him. Oh, uh, he betrayed it, you fucking bastard, man. Discord can't has can't believe fucking Discord did that shit. And joined fucking forces with Tyrek. Fucking hell, man. For days. <laughs> fucking hell. That was Tyrek. Tyrek. Oh, he's absorbing all the life force and magic energy of everyone. It's like how Cell did in DMZ for some reason. Well, speaking of which, there's gonna be a lot of references to that. The second part, I think. Oh. How could he do this? I thought our friendship meant something to him. I thought he had changed. Oh, Tirek has stolen enough powers. magic that he now has the strength to steal flight as well. Oh, stealing all the Wonder Bolts. Well, the Pegasus one. Without Pegasus to control the weather. Oh, my girl Derpy. She killed Derpy's spirit. Why did you steal the energy for Derpy? Well. <laughs> fucking bastard, Tirek. Oh Without man, strength, fucking Derpy, they will not no, be you killed my number one next to Pinky. Why the hell did you do this? Oh, he's no looking real demonic, fucking Titanic right that there. Power will solely AKA to like Tyrek. a Baphomet or some shit, but I'm not gonna get into that and talk about that. Magic. This guy will turn me to shit. I'm not here. With Discord by his side, we will not be able to stop him from taking it. Once it is in his possession, his power will know no bounds. She looked high and there in that second when they made that thing for Luna because of her eyes. Beautiful as hell by the way. It is only by making I've this seen all sacrifice fan the that Equestria and amazing. the land Some beyond it might be saved. Might be kids watching, so it might be sexual. We must rid ourselves saying. of our magic before Tyrek has the chance to steal it from us. Oh boy. I gotta destroy all the fucking magic now. Okay, so that was like the first part of the episode. So, um, part one. What are my overall thoughts, views, and opinions so far? Um, I thought it was really freaking crazy. Real dramatic ass ending over there. I thought it was insane as fuck. Um, Discord ended up pretty much um, destroying everything that he thought that was gonna be good, but um, unfortunately it didn't go too well. So um, that was pretty fucking sad. Um, I did like the way they actually finally used the keys for like the key box. They didn't open it yet, but they will soon. I'm damn well looking forward to that shit. And uh, another reason is, oh no, they're showing the other thing previously, but I'm gonna talk about that in the second part of the video in the next one. Hopefully you can um, stick around with me, and if not, it's what it is. I understand if you got busy lives, and if not, you got all the time in the world, definitely watch my second part of this video. 
and they're just going over what happened before the first time. But other than that, um, the animation was beautiful. I liked how the the callbacks of um, the first six episodes with that uh, dude Silver Shell was in Town of Water. Um, Rarity takes Manhattan. They show that again. Um, the Rainbow Falls thing. They showed that again. The Pinkie Pie with cheese sandwich. That was cool. I like how they did that with the weird out thing. I remember that. And uh, what else was cool? The real nice little theme songs. Really adorable. Really amazing. Very heartfelt. Very extremely fucking emotional. I'm very tearful at even though I didn't cry, but you know, you guys get the gist of that shit. Um, oh, and the last final thing I really liked, um, thank God Spike wasn't annoying as hell in this thing. They really actually built this character up a lot better than they did before. A lot of people complain about that, but in me, in my retrospect, I don't really care too much for him, but yeah, he's okay, I guess. Um, what else can I say? A Tarek, this Tarek freaking character from Generation 1 to be in the 4 Generation of LMP. Very big milestone on Megan McCarthy's part. You are a boss. You're beast as hell. You're awesome. Best story editor, supervisor, CEO of the MLP series right now. And um, very good voice act. Well, no, she doesn't do voice act. She's just a directing supervisor. I forgot. The chief staff or whatever. And uh, that's all I have to say. And uh, Discord doing all this little magic thing like the Mary Poppins reference. That was very funny as hell too. Random, unexpected. And I loved every moment of that shit. And that's all I have to say for now. So like I always do say, once again, hopefully you see in the part two of this, which is um, the part two of the Magic Kingdom. Um, once again, peace out. Once again, a third time. Bros and Bronies and Pegasus. I will see you when I see you guys every day after the night. Wherever you're at around the world, don't drink smoke at the same time. Don't do anything reckless. See you soon. See you around. Deuces, I'm out. Um, peace out. See you around and all that good shit. And um, that's pretty much it. Hope you like the low glasses again. They're making a bit better return than they were the first time. Um, take it easy, deuces, see you around, and I just said all that, be easy, and um, you guys take it easy, people, alright, stay safe out there, I'm out, late and goodbye, peace again the third time, <laughs> and I'll catch you on the next one, alright, late and I'm out, see you soon.